guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a part two of fidget hunting at Walmart. I got a couple of messages on TikTok from you guys saying that they had tons of new fidgets and then my girlfriend Meg went there and she filmed the coolest TikTok that made me want to go. So I decided to check it out yesterday and this is how it went. I found these ASMR pods and I think we're gonna test some of these out. I'm not sure. Okay, here it shows, I think these are the different colors. I found a purple and a blue, but I don't think I see any other colors. So we will test these out. I just found an entire thing of poppets and these feel like hard shell poppets. These definitely feel like good quality. So I'm gonna grab one of these and see how it compares to some of my favorite poppets in the playroom. I love this color. This one is a really cute unicorn. This one is, I think, a piece of candy. We even have a pineapple. These are really cute. I'm gonna get, I think, this one. Oh no, how do you get them off? Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. Ignore all that. So I see the packages for Nitos and it looks like people are still not paying for these bad boys. <laughs> We're gonna dig through here and see if we can find anything else though. Ooh, slinkies. A lot of parents are asking for the slinkies that can go down the steps and these are for sure the best. But look what I just found, noodlies. I like to pick up packets of these anytime I find them because I love to use these for gift bags for birthday parties that I attend. So in the cart, it goes. Look at how cute this little ghost squishy is. So satisfying, perfect for Halloween. This is the first time I've seen this here at Walmart. This is a flexi crystal. I believe it's kind of like a block snake, but it says four levels of difficulty. So, oh yes, okay, so they've got different like games you can play with it. I've always wondered what to do with these. So this looks like an awesome fidget. Should we get it? Walmart always has these as well. They're just not that safe for the playroom, so I don't usually pick them up. But for you guys at home, these are a great, fun sensory toy. Tons of gujitsus, which are kind of like a mix between a stress ball and an action figure. We have some of these galaxy attack ones. We have this guy and this guy. Oh no! But I feel like for Christmas, the boys would love these. So I definitely think we might pick up some of these as additional Christmas gifts. I just got Charlie the mini size of this Aquaman. He would love the full size. I think we're gonna have to get this for sure. Are we differentiating between fidgets and puzzles these days? Because I feel like this would be an awesome fidget for like an adult. And this is a good stocking stuffer. I just found these. They are the same brand as those pods but this is oddly satisfying ASMR compound kit. And it looks like it comes with sand. So I'm very interested to see how these are, but I'm worried it's gonna be really messy. So let's take it back to the playroom and test it out and see what we think. So I'm reaching in here and I found some monkey noodles. We've got one, two, is that it? Is that all we're gonna find in here? Oh wait, nope, that's a snake. There's a bunch of snakes mixed in here, so I keep thinking they're monkey noodles. But, oh, here's the monkey noodle package. But it's supposed to come with, I believe five. So this is only two out of five noodles. I just found more of these oddly satisfying sensory FX toys. So I think this is going to be the main takeaway from today's video is they've got tons of these ASMR toys. When I was walking out, I saw the rest of these Halloween squishies. Some of these are so cute. We already saw the ghost, but there's like a witch ghost. There's some jack-o'-lanterns. Let's see if there's anything else. I think those might be three. 
but I don't know how much they are. There's not a price, but they're definitely cute. I think this is everything we're gonna be able to find. So let's go to the playroom and start testing these things out and see how good they are. All right, guys, here is everything that we got from Walmart. We are going to test it all out. And as you could tell by the footage, a lot of it was this Sensory FX ASMR stuff. So I am very interested to see if one, they're satisfying, two, if they count as a fidget, and three, if we can get any tingles. So let's start testing things out. First, we're gonna start with the non-ASMR items. We did get these noodlies. I'm not gonna open them because I am going to a birthday party this weekend and I'm going to give a noodly to every single guest who is there. I know there's only five in here, but do not worry. I have plenty more where these came from. I love finding Nido products at Walmart because they are some of my favorite fidgets and it's so nice that they're so readily available. I just wish the shoplifting wasn't so prevalent because I get really sad when I see fidgets missing. We also got this fidgets. I love the way that it's spelled fid, fid, fidgets with a Z fidgets. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is the blue color. It's got light blue, medium blue, and dark blue. It is so pretty. Okay, there's hay on everything because this was in my car and I got some hay bales for my house. So now I feel like I'm living in hay. But how pretty is this? So now we're going to test it out and see how loud it is. I am so happy that these were so high quality. They were so pretty. I was a little like confused why they had like the protector thing on it. So I couldn't pick out whichever one I wanted, but I am happy with the one that I got. And I think it is beautiful. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think I picked the right one or would you have picked one of the other colors? The last fidget that's not an ASMR toy I got was the Flexi Crystal. I do think that this one is basically a wooden snake. Oh yeah, these are so cool because you can twist them and manipulate them. And then as soon as you go like this, they go right back into place. I love that it does look like crystals. All of the ones I have like this are wooden. So this is a very pretty style. How gorgeous. I love it so much much. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Came with this little booklet. Oh, I see. So they've got all of these different puzzles you can do. This is definitely a puzzle fidget that I can get on board with. Number nine is this shape right here. 10 bucks says I can do it. Oh, wait, wait, how am I incapable of doing it? This one is a rectangle and this one's a square. Oh. I was so confident in my abilities. What is wrong? I failed the beginner round. Oh my goodness. And then it starts getting more and more difficult. They've got expert levels and then they've got master. And that is so cool. And once you get up to like the more difficult ones, it kind of blocks out the colors so you can't tell. I am questioning all my life choices now. Let me know if you guys have one of these and let me know if you've been able to complete any of the expert or master levels because evidently I can't even do the beginner. So now for the main event, we've got a bunch of these XX sensory toys. Let's start with the pods and see how satisfying these are. They're supposed to be oddly satisfying. They add a little bit of mystery to it by not knowing what you're going to be getting, which I think is kind of difficult for ASMR because ASMR is very subjective and not everybody likes the same sounds. So I think it'd be better if you knew what you were getting so you could pick the ones that would be good for you. This wrapping is intense. Okay, that's one layer. That's two layers. That's three layers and four layers. And this is what we are left with. Oh my gosh, it's essentially a puzzle fidget and it's a slide puzzle. So you should be able to slide these pieces like this. 
I don't find this ASMR or soothing or anything. I don't love this. So yeah, this one's just called The Puzzle. So I'm gonna give this one a no, thank you. So now let's open all four layers of this one. Hopefully it is something better. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, so that's basically it. It's called the pop-up. So let's listen to it and see if we get any tingles. Okay, I did not hate that. This one I much prefer over this one. And now I really wanna test out all the other ones. It looks like there's two, there's eight different types and we got two of the eight. So next time I'm at Walmart, I'll see if I can find these and maybe I can do an entire video of just all of this ASMR stuff. Now let's move in to these. Okay, these are called ASMR dice and evidently they connect to ASMR bars, which I don't have any of those. So I'm gonna have to go on the hunt for those now. All right, these are the three dice I got. Let's see what they do. So this one spins. Pretty satisfying. This one is like a suction cup, but I don't have anything for it to suction to. I don't find that as satisfying. And then this one makes a popping noise. But since my nails are so long, I can't do it. So I've used my knuckle. So between these three, which one do you find the most satisfying? I'm not gonna lie, I have yet to feel any tingles with any of these. And I'm not quite sure about the ASMR properties of these. But we've got some more dice here. Let's test them out. Okay, this one is another puzzle. It's got this little bead in here and you've got to move it around to try to get it inside there, which puzzles I don't find very satisfying or soothing. You guys let me know. Is it just a me thing? Do you guys find puzzles satisfying? Am I just not having any luck because I don't know how to use puzzles? Please let me know down in the comments. And there's this one. I think I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing something guys. I am missing something. And then there's this one. I get it, I get this one. So one out of six I get. Hmm, very peculiar. And now for the one I'm most nervous about. This one includes kinetic sand. So I'm gonna have to turn you guys around and we're gonna work on the table because I have a feeling that I'm gonna need a solid surface for this. It comes with all of these pieces and here's the kinetic sand. I've never really played with kinetic sand, so I'm interested to see how this is going to work. I'm not gonna lie though, I think this one was my favorite. It is definitely a mess, but it had that sound I was looking for and it was oddly satisfying. So this is a win. Okay guys, that's everything I have for today's video. We definitely had some highlights. I enjoyed the noodles, the pop it was so good, and this crystal snake puzzle is amazing. And we definitely had some losers. I do not know what I am missing. Am I doing these wrong? Do you guys find them oddly satisfying? Am I just not getting it? 
Let me know down in the comments. Have you tried these? Do you understand them? What am I missing? I, 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 I don't understand. I did, however, really like the kinetic sand one. Yes, it was messy, but it was oddly satisfying. I'm almost tempted to go back and get the other styles of it and maybe do an entire YouTube video where I just test out all of the oddly satisfying kinetic sand. Let me know down in the comments. Should I do it? Should I not do it? I hope you guys liked this video. And if you liked it, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys.